So this is a switch I'm going to install today. It looks intimidating, but it's actually super easy. So this is the old switch. Sometimes these old switches have this little built-in box. This is a fuse. This is actually a 20 amp fuse. My furnace here is already on a 20 amp breaker switch. So I'm going to take that off. Now I'm going to make sure power is totally off to this furnace. If the furnace isn't running, I could still have power coming to the electrical box. Just going to double check and test this for voltage. So you'll notice that there's a black and white wire that comes from the furnace into this box. So I'm going to pull those wires out of this box so they're back into the furnace and I'm going to wire my plug into that black wire and into that white wire. So to connect my plug I'm basically going to poke this little hole, this little piece out, out, come off. I'm going to slide this in, I'll show you what this is. Okay, so from my plug, I've got my black, hot, my white, neutral, and my green ground. So I'm pretty much just going to connect the white to the white, the black to the black, and I'm going to connect the green to, that, to the ground, to anywhere on the frame. I've got this little piece I'm going to put on there and then put it in the screw hole to hold it a little bit better. I'm going to use these little wire nuts to connect these wires together. Pull up your something. I'm just going to hook my ground wire to this same bolt that these other grounds are hooked to. So now that I got all these wired up. Tuck them in there, and then this, this one's going to... So basically I've noticed that this little sharp edge is going to pull back and forth and it's going to cut my wire. So I got one of these little things that I can tighten around my cord, and I just screw them down, and then I can pull on the cord really hard and it won't come out. So this is the cord I'm going to use to provide power to my furnace. I'm going to plug this actually into my solar generator. I have a generator and a battery, which I'm going to do a review on as well. I'll leave a link to that in the description. But if you don't have your generator, you can. I'm going to just plug it into my outlet and provide power to my furnace that way. All right, let's look at the remaining wires we have in this box. We Coming from the top, the, the provided uh, wire comes with a black left and a white. So black hot and a white neutral. So we need to figure out what to do with these. I'll show you what we're going to do with these. All right, let's explain this outlet. It's really pretty simple, actually. All right, so I have a gold screw or a brass screw here. And then I also have a silver screw. The gold screw is where I'm going to connect my black live wire and the silver screw is where I'm going to connect my white neutral wire. Okay, so now let's talk about this side. This is the ground. We're not going to do anything with that because that's already taken care of in the box. But these two blacks, I'll show you what we're going to do with that. Now these two black screws are connected by this clip here. I want to keep that clip in place so these are connected. It is removable, but I'm going to keep it in place. I want to keep it in place. I'll show that these two screws are connected. So if there's a connection, it makes a noise. If you touch these two terminals, it makes a noise. So these are connected. So basically your power is going to come in. It's going to come in here, and if it's off, it just stops. But if it's on, it continues through this. It goes to this screw and the, because these are connected it goes down here and it provides power to this outlet and then it can go back home with this neutral 
So with it off, the power stops. With it on, the power continues down to this outlet and supp supplies this outlet. That's where we're gonna plug our furnace into. So we'll, have a, we'll be able to turn the furnace on and off really easily with this switch. You can also unplug the furnace to turn it off. But this is kind of a cool little switch. And it's super easy to wire up. All I have to do is connect my black wire and my white wire to this side and I'm good to go. It's gonna connect to my gold. My white. Just gonna screw it in. Go give it a try. All right, let's turn it on. All right, now we'll flip it on. There it goes. Turn it on. It's good. Okay, hun. So, so the power goes out. This is the furnace to our basement apartment. Plug this into the generator, and then we can also plug this one into the generator too. And it's easy to switch on and off. Wow, that's cool, huh? That's really cool. I'll be really, really um, excited and appreciative when the power does go out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to test this with my generator. Here's my solar lithium battery here in my inverter this is where my outlet goes there it goes other furnace yeah this one's running now too Sweet. Should be able to run these furnaces for like a couple days on this. Thanks for watching.